Hello everybody and welcome back to Games for Dads and another super cool Cards the Universe and Everything video. Okay, today we are looking at this brand new card. It's literally been out for about five minutes. It's Mary Annin and there she is. And we are going to build an absolutely stonking lead deck around Mary. Okay, so let's have a look. The first card obviously is this new one. It is a limited legendary. It's fairly easy to get. There is a paleontology pack out there in the shop today. Go and get that 120 gems. You've got a 20% or 25% chance of getting Mary. Anyhow, what does she do? You can build a whole deck around Mary on the draw. If your deck has eight or more science cards and if your deck has eight or more paleontology cards, your cards, wherever they are, gain 19 for four turns. Absolutely awesome. I've gone with eight science, eight paleontology, and a couple of random cards to try and buff them up. Anyhow, let's have a look at the deck. As I said, Mary, she's the first card. And let's have a look at those eight paleontology cards then. So the next one is a super cool card. It is the Dodo. Yep, the Dodo. The Dodo is back. A limited legendary card. Uh, quite difficult to get the Dodo, or not too bad, I should say, to get the Dodo. But what does it do? Well, let's have a look. On the draw, your paleontology cards, wherever they are, cost minus one this round and gain plus 33 power this turn. Seven for 32, dead useful. It's gonna keep that energy cost down for us and give us some mega buffs. Mapasaurus is the next one, eight for 70. On the play, your paleontology cards, wherever they are, gain 13 until played. And if you won the turn, your paleontology cards, wherever they are, gain plus five permanently. Fits in absolutely perfectly with this Mapasaurus uh, or the Mapasaurus, I should say, in this cool Mary and in that lead deck. Then I've got a Mythic Bunny Ip, uh, really to help me with my energy. On the return, your Paleontology cards, wherever they are, cost minus two. And if you lost the turn, they cost an extra minus one energy this round. So dead useful. I'm going to try and play them at the front uh, or the start of the round uh, to help with that energy. And then I've got a pair of cards here, Diplodosis, and you always need to pair him up with the Barosaurus, which we'll look at in a second. But the Diplodosis, 7 for 49, Epic Limited, absolutely awesome card. On the play, if you're losing the round, your Diplodosis card in hand gains plus 49 this turn. It's not the best bit. The best bit is when you pair him up with the Barosaurus. These two cards together, absolutely amazing. The Barosaurus, there he is. On the play, your Diplodosis card in hand gains 49 permanently. So if you can get those round a couple of times, that Diplodosis card is going to be so powerful. Absolutely amazing. That's the Barosaurus. And then the last two Paleontology cards, I've gone with Kehong Juji. Kehong Juji. There we go. On the draw, if your deck has three or more Paleontology cards, well, we've got eight. Your Unruly Rulers cards, which we don't have any of them, wherever they are, gain plus 20 for two turns. But the good thing is it repeats for life on land. Well, I've got one life on land card and it repeats for science. And we've obviously got eight science cards. So definitely worth putting in this deck. I'm excited to see what he does. And then the last one, a bit of a wild card, really. I think this might fit in. I'm not really sure. Look at that writing. So much writing on there. But this is the Holocene Extinction. So what does it do? On the play, if you've played any Oceans and Sea card this game, well, I've got one. Your Science cards, wherever they are, gain plus 13 this round. And your Oceans and Sea cards, wherever they are, lose five permanently. Well, that's not too bad. And then the second part, if you've played any Life on Land card this uh, game, or game this turn, no, this game, yeah. Uh, your science cards, wherever they are, gain plus 13 this round. And your life on land cards, wherever they are, lose five permanently. Well, I've got one Oceans of the Sea and one life on land. So let's see what Holocene Extinction does. But I quite like the look of that card. No idea if it's going to work or not, but we put it in the deck. Anyhow, that is the eight Paleontology cards. Moving on to the eight science cards. And there's a whole heap of different science cards you can pick to go in this deck. But I've gone with the Chrono Photographic Gun, really to do a bit of damage to some of those high scoring decks out there. On the play, the card opposite this loses minus 100 this turn. Pretty nice. And then the next one is Teeth. I've gone with Teeth because it's got a little bit of an effect on paleontology. Uh, so I wanted to get a bit of a synergy there. Uh, your Sharks cards, we haven't got any, but your paleontology cards, wherever they are, gain plus nine until played. And that's on the draw. So that's Teeth fits in quite well, I think. 
Also the Grand Canyon, another cool card, really to help us with our energy costs. Your Paleontology cards, wherever they are, cost minus one at this round, and that is on the draw. Uh, that's a limited legendary, I'm surprised about that. But anyhow, that's the Grand Canyon. I've been there, amazing place. And then the next one is Leonardo. Because I've got eight science, it makes sense to put Leonardo in. What does it do? On the play, your science cards in hand game, plus 26 until play. So pretty useful. Leonardo, I've used him loads of times. Always a steady card when you've got loads of science cards. And then I've got another one. Here we go. How do I say this? The Manawapu Puna Falls. The Manawai Puna Falls. Wow, interesting. Somebody tell me where they are. It looks absolutely super cool. Anyhow, on the draw, your paleontology cards, wherever they are, cost minus one this round. So this one's going to help again with the cost of those paleontology cards, which can get quite expensive, actually. So what I've done, I've put in a couple more science cards, or three more science cards, actually. The next one out is Cloaking Device. I like this card. It's in cool. It's quite cheap to play. On the play, three random cards in your hand game, plus 35 this turn. The only trouble is it reveals after scoring. So you never know if you're going to hit zero, one, two, or three cards with that extra 35. Uh, probably can't hit zero, actually, if you're playing three cards. Anyhow, next two science cards. Simulation theory. Like I said, I'm a little bit worried about energy. Um, I may have gone overboard with the energy preservation, but simulation theory. And then jet car, my old favorite. Play it in the middle, and you're going to get... Uh, the cards adjacent, so the two cards either side are going to get 80 power this turn. And then for the next three turns, you're going to lose 40 power. I know Jet Car works really well, so I've included it. And then, as I said, I've got two uh, random cards. The Well Witch Shia. Interesting card, this one. On the play, your Paleontology cards, wherever they are, gain plus seven until play, which is dead handy. I've got eight Paleontology cards. And on the return, if you want the turn, your Paleontology cards, wherever they are, gain another seven until play so potentially we can give all our paleontology cards an extra 14 power there definitely worth including and the last card in the deck is that alligator gar cool card this one fits in really well with this deck for every oceans card in your hand well i've got one your paleontology cards wherever they are gain plus six this round uh, not too bad, but all our paleontology cards there are going to get an extra six. But it fitted in. I'm sure there's better cards out there. Uh, but I wanted to get this deck put together and try and make it kind of work. So that's the deck. Uh, average power 46.7, really low. Average energy 5.4, which is low. Uh, and power divided by energy is 8.7. Not too bad, actually. So let's see what we can do. Let's go into the league. This is the first time I've ever played this deck. We are rank one. We've got three shields. Wow. And first time I've ever played Mary. Let's have a look. See what Mary does. Here we go. We are playing Master Pusher. Looks like he's got an Arts and Cultures deck here. Could be interesting. So let's go. Cloaking device. I shade you. And maybe the gun in the middle. I think. Oh, what's he playing? Oh, Prominent Painters. Oh, I've been working on Prominent Painters. Interesting. Okay, this will be good. Prominent Painters can be really good if you put it together well. Especially with some of those new Power Play cards. We are going to be doing a video on that very shortly, actually, on Power, on the Prominent Painters. Anyhow, we've got a 67 lead. Where is that Mary card? Grand Canyon, Alligator card. Get those three randoms out of the way. Ooh, 118. Okay, we've still got oh, a nice buff there from those prominent painters. Only playing two cards, interesting. It might be a bit high on energy. So we are three points in the lead. I'm holding on to that Barasaurus until the Diplodosis card comes out. There is Mary and that cool buff. Okay, now look at that. We've got some real power in our hand. Um, there's the Macrosaurus. Oh, we're going to have to play Bunny. I want to win this turn. Probably overkill, 407. Oh, she's got Edward Munch. If anybody wants to trade me for Edward Munch, I'd be more than happy to do a trade for you. Desperate to get that card. Can't get it at all. Okay, round one to us. Well done. Looking good, this deck. I'm liking it. 118. So far, so good. Really good. And a paleontology arena. We've got no omnivores. I think that's the bonus. But we've got loads of paleontology cards. So they're all going to get a little bit of a boost. There's my good old friend Jet Car. 152 and that boost from Jet Car. 
Hopefully that will put us in the lead. Oh, those prominent painters are looking good. Great deck. I like your deck a lot, Master Pusher. I really like your deck. So we are a little bit behind, but we've got the Barosaurus. Hopefully Diplodosus should come around now and we can get that cool. There we go. We can get that permanent buff and we're losing. We get the extra 49. Look at that. 412. That's a nice score. We get back into the lead. Oh, the prominent painters look a little bit heavy on energy. Okay, so that's good. 180 in the lead. We've got Leonardo and Teeth. Let's see if we can get a couple more science cards. Oh, that's nice. Four science cards. So we can use Leonardo now. We're going to get a really good buff. There's that whole scene extraction. Extinction, not extraction. 219 and the gun gonna hit oh oh we got two from the cloak in that's good that is gonna help us a lot although that prominent painters is a good score 360 we've got 289 we're just gonna win that round that's good so we're two nil up that's looking like really good this merry anning card i'm liking a lot at the moment and for sure our first attempt at building a deck around her i'm liking it a lot so uh, what should we do here? We've got some randoms here. I think we're probably going to have to lose this round. I'm looking by these cards now. Uh, and go for the victory on that astronaut space arena. Uh, let's concentrate on getting maximum buffs then. 354. 59, that's looking good. Good score, those painters. 181, yeah, that's a good decision to try and, I'm not trying to lose, but I think we need to make sure, as always, you get your cards in the right order. There's Mary again, plus 19, that's really good, I like that, let's get her back round again. Keep those two paleontology cards for now. 235, we're definitely going to be well behind, oh look at that, massive score, nice one Master Pusher, Master Pusher, he is pushing out those points. You are the master, Master Pusher. Good game so far. I'm glad we got those two rounds in our belt at the beginning. Right, I'm going to hold Jet Car. Um, and I want to play three cards to keep the rotation right. So let's get that one out of the way. Um, I'm not sure about that Extinction Event card. Might need to change that one. 363, not a bad score, but we're never going to catch him up. It's all or nothing on the next round, I think because the last one is an arts and culture so he's going to get a little bit of a buff on his prominent painters so we are well and truly beaten 2-1 okay this is the round we were targeting to win if we can get a 3-1 victory and have we got diplodosus and barosaurus yes we have leave them for now if we get behind don't waste the extra 49 points 191 and the buff. Oh, it's going to be close. I hope we're just behind here. And then we get that extra 49. We are. We're well behind. Wow, good score. Wow, 504. Really good score. Well played, Master Pusher. But I'm not too worried. We've got some massive cards coming out now. We have got a pair of... Oh... Okay, that's good. So we, let's get those three paleontology cards out. That would be a good score. 518. We should close the gap a little bit here. Oh, those have been some big scores. Oh, he's only playing two cards again. Why is he only playing two cards? Because of the energy. Wow. Oh, a little bit of energy saving in your deck, Master Pusher. And I think he might be beating us. So we are now 167 in the lead. We've got Leonardo and the gun and cloaking device. That is nice. Those three science cards are going straight out. Where do we put the gun? In the middle is always a good bet. 162. Oh, I think with the 100 off, we might just be okay. And cloaking hit two. Oh, it hit three. Even better. Oh, that was lucky. Nice buff there. Three. Oh, he's still going. 378 and we've got 267 and 167 yeah we've just won that one well good game nice deck master pusher that cloaking device there helped us out and that gun so great deck mary annin i really like that card i think we can have a lot of fun creating some really cool decks around that um you could even go nine and nine nine paleontology and nine science with that because it's eight or more anyhow 
enjoy the game thanks for watching i uh, hope you like the new video hope you like the new card i do uh, and we will be back very shortly with some more videos don't forget do please give us a like it really helps us out and don't forget if you haven't subscribed please do give us a sub it will be really appreciated anyhow take care everybody we'll be back soon bye